So we've looked at why the whiteboard can be a useful tool for teaching. We also had a look at how we could set it up to make sure it works well for us. Now it's time for us to actually start doing something with the whiteboard and using the pens on the surface. So if I look here, you'll notice at the bottom I have a pen menu and I have the select menu, which is represented by the mouse cursor. But if I go into my pen menu, you'll see that I have three pens, a highlighter, a laser pointer, an eraser, a ruler, and a lasso. All of these are used to work and interact with the whiteboard, and let's grab a pen to begin with. Now when I click and tap the pen, I'll have a choice of changing the color of the pen, I'll have the ability to change the thickness of the line of the pen, as well as the opacity of the line. Down here at the bottom, I can put an arrowhead on the end of the line that I draw, or double arrowheads on both sides of the lines that I draw. I'm just going to choose a black pen and keep the default thickness of 3 and 100% opacity. And now if I go and do something like write on the whiteboard, you can see that it puts it onto the whiteboard and I've used my pen on the whiteboard. Now if I go in, I could change the colors by hitting the plus symbol and choose any color that I wanted to use on the whiteboard. So basically any specific color, you basically have all of the color palette that you could want. You can see it both as a spectrum or as a grid, whatever you prefer. I can have up to three pens active at any one time, so easy access. You can grab as many pens and colors as you want. But let's say for example I want a pen that's a little bit of a lighter purple in here and let's say that I want that pen to be a little bit thicker and maybe a little bit lighter, less, uh, less, uh, a little more opaque. So now I can put in my purple line in here and you can see that that purple line is a little more opaque and it's a little bit thicker than the line that I have in the, in, on the black pen. I'll go in this pen, I don't need a third purple pen, so I'll make that a blue pen. And on this one here, maybe I'll put an arrowhead, so when I draw the line, it puts an arrow on one side, or maybe I want to do a compare and contrast, so I can do this and it would put arrowheads on each end of the line. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility with the pens and I can turn off the arrowheads if I want as well. I can also use the highlighter. Now just like the pen with the highlighter, I can go in and I can change the thickness of the highlighter and I have a full spectrum of colors that I can use for highlighting. So maybe I want to have a green highlighter in here and I could go in and then I could select any colors and then if I wanted to highlight something I could highlight it and you see that I've now highlighted it. That's very useful. I also have my laser pointer. Now with the laser pointer you do not get the spectrum of colors. There's a limited palette here of six colors that you can choose from. Most of the time I use a red laser pointer and the difference in the laser pointer and highlighting is that if I draw a circle with the laser pointer to draw attention to something it fades away after a moment. So that's great if I want to say here's something you should pay attention to, but then I can have it fade away without keeping it on the whiteboard and cluttering everything up. Of course, we all make mistakes, so we want to make sure that we have an eraser. Now with the eraser, if you go fast with the eraser, it grows in size. So you're able to go in and you're able to erase a larger area, or you can actually have a smaller precision eraser if you want to just erase a small portion of, of a line that you're working on. With the eraser, I can also configure it if I want to by pressing down. I could have it so that it's a partial stroke eraser, or I could have it, if I press down, that it erases the entire line all at once. So if you want to clean up a lot at once, you can make it an entire line eraser. And if you just want to erase a portion of what you've drawn on the whiteboard, you can use the partial stroke eraser. So you have an option between the two. Another very useful feature is the ruler. This is of course especially useful for anybody who's doing math or anything. If you use the ruler, you can move it around the surface. And if you go to the center of the ruler and then use the center wheel on your mouse, you can actually go in and you can change the angles there. You can also go in and you can uh, drag the, the ruler wherever you might want it, put it exactly uh, in position, and then you take your pen and you can choose, say, a black pen here and draw whoop, and put the ruler where you need it. Make sure you're outside of the ruler area and then you can just draw a line and then that becomes a line on the whiteboard and if you get rid of the ruler, the, the line remains. So that's a very useful feature as well, especially for anyone that needs more precision in what they're doing. And again, you can just scroll that center mouse wheel in order to put the ruler exactly where you would like it. And then you could draw lines 
if you're doing maybe some sort of drafting or something and you want to draw some lines if you go a little bit over when we take the ruler away I can then take my eraser and just clean up the end there make things quite nice here and now I've got my my line in there and of course if I had grid paper that would be even easier to use now you might wonder what's the use of the lasso here well if I want to I could choose objects for example I could go and choose everything on the surface here and now I've connected it all together and now I could move it around as one unit I could also do things like just bring it down a little bit I could do things like put a comment on the entire set I could delete all of the objects that I've, I've put into the lasso I could copy it if I want to make copies and I could even put some I can convert it into different shapes and I could even go in and duplicate it or lock it on the screen I find this quite useful if I'm teaching something and I want to make several copies and then annotate the different copies let me show you what I mean by that so let's say for example that I am uh, created uh, the whiteboard here I want to clear it so one of the ways I can clear the whiteboard is right click and go clear canvas and now I've clean cleared the canvas let's say I go back into my pens and let's say I have three objects in here and I'm doing some sort of game where you know tell me something that's square something that's a triangle and something that's a circle but I want to have this exercise through several students I can go in and I can select all of those choose the ellipse duplicate it and now what I can do is I now have a duplication of that and in fact if I wanted to I could make multiple copies so now I'll grab everything here duplicate that move it over and now you can see I very quickly created an entire environment where I have four different little games that we could play name something that's a square something that's a triangle something that's a circle that's a simple game but you get the idea that I can create multiples of an object very rapidly by using the lasso to select them and then I'm able to go in and delete them all now one of the things we can also do is down in the corner here you can see that I'm at 100% I could make this smaller so I'm down at 33 percent this is very useful when I'm using something like lasso because I can grab everything and you can see I can duplicate that and now I've really got a lot of this square here bring it back to 100 percent and you can see I've got an entire game that I can play here you'll also notice that as I'm grabbing the whiteboard with the mouse I'm using the the left mouse button here I can move things and that's because I'm on the select menu the other thing I can do is hold the shift key and that is going to allow me to then move the mouse while I'm using the shift key to move things around I find using the shift key in the mouse movement to be quite handy for navigating the whiteboard as well that's an example of using the pens the highlighter the laser pointer the eraser the ruler and the lasso as well as changing the zoom value of how far I'm zoomed in I can come up to hundred percent I could zoom in very closely so you can see I've zoomed in very closely here I can also use this button here to fit everything onto the whiteboard that I've got on my screen so it's an infinite canvas so in order to fit everything it automatically defaulted to 64 percent because that will fit all of the objects I've created on the whiteboard so this is a fit all button this is the percentage button and you can see that I can select using the shift key or in select mode to move things around let's go to the next lesson where we'll explore some more of the pen menu or the control menu at the bottom of the whiteboard